Mitra Faridian here from DragonBlogger.com. Attention to those with virtual keyboard phobia. Today we're taking a look at an iPad add-on called the TouchFire. The flexible silicone keyboard aims to give you a more tactile sensation while you're using it. TouchFire's main purpose is to help you replace this, I mean this, with a more green solution that does not use any of your iPad's battery. What initially pleased me about the TouchFire is the fact that it stores nicely not only in its carrying case, but also neatly tucks away in the iPad smart cover. Another thing I appreciated is the fact that it can be cleaned by running it under simple tap water. Installation is very easy, but you can't just toss it onto your iPad and expect it to find the correct place as you've seen in the demonstration videos. The first test I put the touch fire through was the rested fingers typing test. I laid my fingers down and started to plug away. It didn't take long before it became apparent to me that this just wasn't gonna work out. Mistake after mistake popped up in my typing and the A key kept being depressed by my pinky no matter how lightly I rested my fingers. I decided to try my chances with Touchfire's special typing tutor to see if there was a technique perhaps I was missing out on. That turned out to be not much help either. In test number two, I decided to use a method I call air typing. When keeping my fingers in the air, accuracy vastly improved and I didn't make as many mistakes. The tactile sensation was slightly amplified, but not as significant as I hoped it would be. Plus, by typing this way, I discovered that certain keys were more recessed than others, such as the backspace key. I scratched my head when I was trying to figure out why the device was underperforming. And then it hit me! The design itself is effective, but what is not effective is the thinness of the silicon used on it. With a thicker, sturdier, and stiffer silicon, the TouchFire would probably deliver the tactile sensation way more and be a great way to cure virtual keyboard phobia. Unfortunately, the TouchFire's performance resulted in a miss in my eyes. While the concept shows much potential, it just cannot in its current state replace the effectiveness of pairing a Bluetooth keyboard with your iDevice. The TouchFire keyboard for the Apple iPad receives 2.5 out of 5 stars. Hopefully with some adjustment and fine-tuning, it can become a much more effective add-on in the future and be worth keeping handy for those essay-length emails or text messages you end up typing. This is Mitra Feridian signing out. Please keep an eye on dragonblogger.com for more reviews like this one and our awesome giveaways. I'll see you later, folks.